brother. These are two of the sisters of Tyree. Um, I'm going to take this time to just share some things that you guys may not know about my baby brother. Um, it's very hard to stand here, so bear with me. Um, Tyree was my baby brother. Um, him and I are 11 years apart. He was so special to me, and he loved me, and I loved him dearly. You know, being the oldest of three boys, I had to watch my brothers take them places that I probably didn't want to take them, watch them at times when I didn't want to watch them. But with Ty, I didn't mind. He never wanted anything but to watch cartoons and a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> so it was pretty easy to watch him. Um, on the night of January 7th, my brother was robbed of his life, his passions, and his talents, but not his light. When my mother called me and said, my baby brother was gone. I lost my faith. I cried. I screamed at God, asking how could he let this happen? And then my cries turned to anger. And anger turned to deep sorrow. Um, and a pain I never felt when those Monsters murdered my baby brother. It left me completely heartbroken. I see the world showing him love and fighting for his justice. But all I want is my baby brother back. And even in his demise, he was still polite. He asked him to please stop. He was still the polite young man that he always was. He asked him to please stop. And they did it. And that's why my family will never be the same. And I will just always love my baby brother forever. Thank you. The poem I wrote is called, I'm Just Trying to Go Home. Mm. I'm just trying to go home. Is that too much to ask? I didn't break any laws along this path. I've skated across barriers. Designed to hold me back. I'm just trying to go home where the love is loud and the smiles are warm like the sunsets that come for me in the coldest of my storms. I'm just trying to go home. I hear the sirens. I see the flashing lights. The directions are clear. Black skin go left, blue skin go right. I'm just trying to go home. Mm. Don't I deserve to feel safe? Batons, badges, boots, bright lights against my face. I'm just trying to go home. Does anyone hear the pain in my cry? The struggle in my breath? God replied, come home, my son. Now you can rest. We're going to hear now from his brothers, James uh, Lazare and Jamal Dupree. How you guys doing? So, 
I didn't plan to speak today, but uh, I was all just sitting here watching everything. My brother was really robbed of his life. You know, uh, my brother didn't live up to the normal black man hype. A uh, basketball player, football player, rapper, none of that, right? He set his own path. You know, he made his own light. Um, he's seen the world way different than I've ever seen it before. And when I sit here and look at the screens of the work that my brother has done and from the vigils, from people talking to me about my brother, I learned so much about him. And I don't think people just tell me this or be telling me, but my brother really touched a lot of lives. He was a very solid individual. He was very peaceful. He was very respectful. And again, I've spent a lot of time away from my brother. And I wish that I haven't because I want to know the person that everybody else knows. Mm. You know, and five officers made that happen to where I won't ever be able to do that. So just being here just, just sucks. But uh, I'll never forget my brother. I'll never forget my Gemini twin. I love you. And... Um, to save a spot for me, bro.